Hi guys, in this video, I will be solving few most important questions related to uh, static friction. So, let's start with the first question. A force of 60 Newton is applied on the lower block, which is placed on a smooth horizontal surface, and a smaller block of mass 5 kg is placed on it, and the coefficient of friction between them is 0.5 Newton. We have to find that what is the friction force between the blocks. Okay. So let's say in this type of questions, we will assume assuming both are moving together. Assuming both are moving together. Okay. So obviously this is an assumption, but if the friction between them by assuming this comes out to be smaller than the static friction maximum value which is limiting friction so we can say obviously the other our assumption is right and if friction comes out to be more than that if friction comes out to be more than the maximum possible friction then obviously this assumption will be wrong okay so we are assuming that both are moving together in that acceleration will be F which is 60 divided by the total mass 10 plus 5 as friction will be an internal force friction will be internal force okay so we can simply say acceleration is nothing but 4 meter per second square let's draw the FVD of the upper block which is 5 kg and it will be accelerating due to friction all alone and its acceleration is 4 as both are moving together so the friction force acting as per as a, our assumption is nothing but ma mass is 4 5 and acceleration is this okay let's calculate the what is the maximum friction normal between the blocks is nothing but 5g and fr max the maximum possible friction is mu into n which is 0 0.5 into 50 or 5g so it comes out to be 25 newton and the required friction is 20 newton so our assumption is right and both are moving with an acceleration of 4 meter per second square and the friction force acting is 20 and that is of static type okay so Whenever you are not aware of whether the blocks are slipping or not, just assume that they are moving together. Just assume that they are moving together and then solve your question. And if friction comes out to be greater than the maximum possible friction, then your assumption is wrong. The slipping is taking place. But if friction comes out to be less than the limiting friction, then your assumption is right and static friction will be acting and there is no slipping taking place between the objects okay i hope you got it in the next question there is a block which is at rest on an incline find the friction between capital m and small m and friction between capital n and ground okay so as this block is at rest we can draw its fbd uh, let's draw it as this is one force mg take the components this is mg cos sin theta and this is the force which is actually balanced by friction so friction is nothing but mg sin theta in this case again the friction is not always mu n it is mu n only in limiting cases in all other cases of static friction friction is just sufficient to the force which try to move it and it is static in nature so acceleration is this and what is the friction between ground and the as the upper system is at rest we can say that there are only two forces m plus mg in downward direction there is no 
horizontal force on the whole system again on the whole system normal between them and friction between them is our internal forces okay so on this diagram i'll just show vertical forces which are mg and another vertical force which is normal from the ground so friction on capital m again by ground is nothing but zero because it has no tendency to slide down okay there is no external force on the system okay the next example is also a very famous and a good one the coefficient of friction between the shoe and road is 0.5 we have to find the minimum time in which a person can cross 250 meters from rest again for minimum time for t min acceleration should be maximum a should be max and the maximum acceleration a person can get with the help of friction on a horizontal road will mu g which in this case is 0 0.5 into 10 approximately that is 5 meter per second square so the maximum acceleration a person can get with the help of friction alone is 5 meter per second square in this case and uh, for t min we can say s is equal to half a t square t is nothing but 2 s by a so 2 into 250 by 5 and root of that so that is nothing but 500 by 5 which is 100 root of that is 10 10 seconds okay so this is how we can get that minimum time in which the person can cover 100 250 meters